Indy, I'm tiny. They'll be back any second. Line Atlantic City. Talk about sweet. Miss Saltwater Taffy 1939 has been crowned on the boardwalk. Boys, meet Nancy Jo Hopkins. Ain't she a beaut? Yowza, yowza. Dateline Europe. The Third Reich prepares for war. Hitler and his goose stepping goons seem unstoppable. Will anything stand in their way? Undeterred, famed archaeologist Indiana Jones races ahead of the Nazi menace to save the treasures of antiquity. Another success for the good professor. Dateline the Presidio, San Francisco. Back on the home front, those artisans of electronic entertainment at LucasArts have been hard at work researching scientific advancements for the new generation of gaming consoles. Long entrusted with the name and likeness of Dr. Jones, these sultans of software have just announced a new invention called Euphoria. This newfangled biomechanical AI will give the world a never-before-seen game experience. With Euphoria, players will get a new surprise every time they press a button. As this rare color footage shows, these thugs are no match for the pugilistic pounding of our intrepid hero. Using this biomechanical AI breakthrough, you, the player, will be able to experience the same danger and excitement of the real Indiana Jones. Look how no two reactions are ever the same. Euphoria gives you that true next generation experience. No canned animation here, sir. Every hit reaction is made fresh for you. It's called a simulation. Old Isaac Newton himself couldn't do it better. Watch as Indy sends these troublemakers on a short trip they won't soon forget. Of course, the good professor will always first offer his seat to a stranger. Always one to take in the local attractions, Dr. Jones enjoys a sightseeing tour aboard a world-famous San Francisco cable car. Watch out, Dr. Jones. Bad guys just got a whole lot smarter. There's nothing artificial about biomechanical AI. It's the bee's knees, the real deal. Like the electric light bulb and the phonograph, Euphoria is a true revolution for entertainment. And it's coming in the next Indiana Jones adventure.
boy, you weren't kidding. They've been tearing the place apart for weeks. I don't know what they're after, though. Hmm, I do. They're not going to find it here. I don't suppose you know a way around those guys, do you? As a matter of fact, there's a path up along that ridge. We could slip by with them none the wiser. Well, all right then. Ladies first. Chris, also viewed as E3, was Indiana Jones. This guy's always pretty cool, going to foreign lands and finding treasure. Uh, what we saw E3, however, involved in beating up thugs in the street and smashing them through car windows. The gladder character, perhaps, who were nonetheless impressed, as wood splintered and broke like real wood, glass smashed like real glass, and the character AI was so good that if you threw someone up in the air, they'd try and grab hold of a ledge to stop themselves falling and then be left there dangling. Or if you set off some explosives, they'd affect the environment dynamically, with something different happening each time. So it was a great demonstration of a next-generation game engine. At E3 this year, we announced that we're working on Indiana Jones for Next Gen. It'll be coming out in 2007. It's a game I'm personally really excited about. I'm an indie fan. Uh, and I think, uh, as George has said, there's no better character suited for video games than Indiana Jones. I mean, if you remember one of the taglines from the movie was, you know, if an adventure has a name, it's Indiana Jones. So we're looking, and we're, it's a game we're building internally. It's a game we're looking to, to really deliver on who Indy is as a character. We've actually been working on it for almost a year, kind of behind the scenes secretly. And the team spent the first three months just focusing on Indy as a character. You know, what he does, who he is, how he would act in the world, and we've been building from there. I heard you were looking for the boss. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to go through us.
traffic.